Welcome back. We're leaving Bud Mary's now. We're going to check our stone crab traps first. We got all the bait back there. We got four and a half buckets, a few iguanas, a lot of fish uh, carcasses. Last time we checked, we put the pig's feet out there. So we're going to see how those did. We had some fish mixed with them too, but we didn't have enough fish. Um, we got a bunch of new rods and reels. I got some of the new pen authorities. So I'm super excited about those. Got on some of our uh, spinning rods. We got the big electric wire line. We got a couple Wahoo rods. We're going to fish after we check the crab traps. I don't know what we're going to do exactly yet. Um, we got a block of chumps, so hopefully we'll catch some bait. And we'll go from there. So you guys are along for the ride though. Welcome to my Amrata. We'll see you out there. Hoo-doo-hoo. What's up, Sadie girl? It's Mr. Frinker. So here is my finger. I didn't cut my finger off, but the knife was very, very sharp and I should have been paying attention a lot more. So you always have to be careful around sharp objects. And you would think Mr. Franker is old enough to learn that, but he's not. So this is my banded. So see, I got this metal thing that protects the end of my finger so I don't doink it on things because it really, really hurts. But if I take that metal thing off, here's what my bandage looks like. I'll let you draw on it and, and you can draw a puppy and then I can have Sadie puppy on Mr. Franker's finger. All right, I'll see you real soon because I'm coming down Sunday. I hope you feel better, Franco. God! Franco chopped the tip of his finger off a week ago and he is in pain. God almighty. You want ice or something? Frank brings his finger and makes him cry. He survived the Bahamas, but this one he. So is your finger. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Thank Frank you for lunch. So the tip of his finger got sliced and it's very sore. Oh my god. Uh, it's very very <laughs> sensitive. Frank, if you didn't know it or not, Frank the Tank is very sensitive. <laughs> We're show oh you my finger god, later. that hurt, man. Oh. So we put Franker in charge. He's driving. We'll see if he can do it. Sarah's pulling him today. Good job, Frank. Excellent. Excellent. We're trying to do a speed pull, Franker. Dude, no, I'm driving at the speed that the operators can function. Oh, oh, one big one. In there. Oh, I think there's a broken up one. I think they might eat one. I get hungry. Look at that. That claw sticking out there. Oh. He's good. Wait, oh, yeah. But see, this other one, up. they eat one apart. They ate someone. That one there would have been a big claw, you guys. They so, this They might have ate one, but it's only been a week, so. 10 days. Oh, it's been 10 days? Yeah, we pulled okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, yeah, it's been 10 days, which is a little long. As you can see, there's still a little bit of gunk left on the, a little bit of yeah, meat. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Mostly just bones, though, not much. Yeah. All right, well, this guy's got double keepers. A uh, trick in the Yeti bucket. Bye-bye, buddy. He's feisty. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> Okay, so we had some people ask about these tongs. You can buy them at Kudjo Sales online, and they'll they'll ship them to you. Kudjo Sales, which is a place down in Kudjo Key. I don't even know what they're called, like crab. Crab tongs, right? Yeah. I, but also, I've just used like grill tongs too, and they work equally as well. All right, well, these big ones fine. Dig it. Bye-bye, buddy. All right, Franker. Trick loaded? is we got to get within 
five feet of the spot. I've already I lined up on it, man. I just want you to get get it baited up, and then I'll I'll put you right on top of it. We got three so far, Franker. Three. That's good. If you're three per trap. That'd be thirty. Yeah, that's funny. All right, you guys. I want to clear one thing up too. Sarah's wearing one of our new woman shirts right here. This is made in America. As well as our new board shorts and our uh, lightweight fishing shorts. These are our board shorts right here. And our kids camouflage shirts, our new, our new batch in here that matches the women's ones. So we got four different items that are made in America. Not everything is. Um, all these other shirts are made in Guatemala that I had previously done. And our hats are overseas in China. Um, I did receive one email saying that I was, you know, not being honest about it, which wasn't the case. I was talking about our Made in America series, which is those four items which we love that they are made here locally and domestically. Um, but it's been challenging finding factories that can make everything else here, I'll just be honest with you. So, But wasn't trying to lie, wasn't trying to be deceitful or anything like that. And I just received one email about it, so I don't think uh, many people thought that, but I think just the way I was talking about it, showing the items we had in the marina there that were made in America, and then I cut back to these other shirts that were made in Guatemala. I might have confused a couple of you guys. So if so, I apologize, but uh, thank you for all the orders. Black Friday was awesome, Cyber Monday and all that good stuff. Frank's Franker. having a hard time. Yeah. We need to put north up? No, no dude. Been Ten feet open. away. I was trying. Spin that dial, the big black dial. Yeah. Usually Franker's doing the dirty work, but since he almost chopped his finger off and it's cut really bad, um, we got to keep sharp objects away from him. We got him driving there. They got heading up on the Simrad. I'm a north up guy, though. I'm 11 feet from it, dude. Well, then we should deploy it. You ready deploy now? it, holy trap. 11 feet. Deploy it. Neutral. Oh. 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 <laughs> you guys are putting the pressure on me without a gaff. Fail. This we right can, there, dog. We have a gaff too. We can, we can uh, gaff it if you want to. I'm just glad I'm not driving any of that today. Yeah, I hear you, dog. <laughs> this has been an unusually warm uh, November and early December so far. Ooh, this one's got some crabbage in it, dog. I can see their legs sticking out. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh, yeah, a couple of them. That's a good way there. to get pinched. Nice. Oh, look. There's a crab with no claws. They live, you guys. Oh, my God. Look, he's growing back his claws, too. See he's that tiny little, little nub little there? Little tiny nubs coming in. So that's a crab that both claws were harvesting. He's still alive. They uh, they all don't he die. He just got a free you. meal, too. He said. Oh, yeah, he was in there eating up uh, pig's feet and fish. <laughs> I think this one only has... Two of these only have one claw, too. But yep. they're still doing good. Look at his little nub growing oh, back. One's coming back there too. Yeah. Look at how be... tiny it is. That's so cool. That's a baby crab. Hang on, we gotta look guys. at this for a second. Bye bye, buddy. Try not to get pinched. Look oh. at that. Look how small it is. Yeah. That is a tiny little crab. That's awesome. Back there. I've never seen one that like. Look how like it's soft. forming. Yeah, it's soft, but it's like curved in and forming. Yeah. That's super cool. Oh. Let him go. Basically, you're just giving them feeding stations so they can grab the brother claws. Oh, pretty much. Yeah. They crawl in the trap and they can eat. Yeah, feeding station. Yeah. This one is. Oh, he's a keeper. 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 We'll just pop them off. Boom! Right off. Try not to throw any over. Yeah, because Truman's not here to dive them up this time. No. His big one's good. I think his little one might be good too. Can I knife it? Well, let's measure the little one first. Where'd the knife go? It's on my, my, my feet. Good. I used to do this without a knife. I mean, we only started using a knife the past couple of years, but if you know how to do it, you can do it correctly without a knife. It's just hard to teach it. So I'm decent at it, but it's safe. On the bigger ones, I have small hands. It's hard for me to hold the big crabs and do it. So the bigger they are, like the more I like to use a knife, but those little ones are... That's a nice claw there. Yeah. Hey, what? Here, let me give you a, a tip. If you stick it in towards like the side of the shell, you won't destroy the hunk of meat that's in there for us to eat. Yeah. Like okay. follow. Yeah. Just like go towards the side of the little... You know what I mean? No. I, I always go kind of in towards an angle No, like but that. you always stick it right in the middle of the meat. Oh. Yeah. Like I'm just saying hug the shell. It's not working. <laughs> You know, like instead of going like right in the center of the meat, yeah. If you just go towards like the like hug the bone, like well, I that. tried it didn't work. I know. I'm just saying okay. that one didn't drop. You don't have to film that. I was just saying. Oh, 
Oh yeah, dog, we can good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guaner. We put an iguana in every single one of these traps 10 days ago. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yep. I'd say these are like two large stone crab claws, and the market would call this a large claw. So if you go out to a restaurant in town and you order like the log, large crab claw appetizer, you get two of these and it'd probably be around 50 bucks. $50 for, two, dollars for, for crab, two crab claws in a restaurant down here. Yep, large. They're large. Very nice size. He's getting better now, Sarah. Here it comes. Boom. Hello. I'm an island boy. Island boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this. He's good. We're going to do this fast. We're going to start doing like commercial speed. Yep. Ooh, big one. We got pig's foot. Nasty. Don't get that on you. Yeah. So I kind of put my pinky up against the joint down there, and you just kind of like leverage it and pop it with your pinky. But the bigger the crap, like the harder it is for me to do that. So probably knife Ooh, that's this a guy. Nice claw there. Yeah. See, I, my pinky won't even reach where his joint is, so I like to knife the big ones. I think his little one's good too. Right? I think so. Yeah, yeah it is. Y'all, if that knife went in my foot, I'd have to go get a tetanus shot. Oh, definitely. Sweet. Good work. All right, Franker, back to the spot. Next. Frank for president. All right. Frank for president. Hit the X. Oh, look at this. Hit that button. What is it? A tiny little shrimp thing. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a tiny little crayfish. Yeah. Ow! Pinched me. There's one big one. That's a good one. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes they get you when they fold in. Something happens and like as soon as we get into the month of December, it's way better. Like December onward. And we haven't even had a real cold front or anything. It's just it just gets better. Six. Monday fun days are my favorite. Oh no! Just when we thought you had to figure it out. Oh, shoot, I held on to it. I'm an island boy, island boy. Catch. Just trying to make it. <laughs> Still got it. Ooh, I didn't even see that one in there. Spraying me, stop it. Why you do that to me? I ain't doing nothing. Missed my calling. Dude, look at the iguana. Those are the iguana skin sticking out there. Dude, we can make iguana boots or something. Iguana shoes. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. Wow, look at this thing. Oh, that's Ooh, a cool crab. We should get him for the tank. Is that I a peekaboo crab? Yeah. Dude, I wonder if beautiful. they would be okay for the tank or if they did. That's a cool crab. Don't pinch me, don't pinch me. Oh, that's he's a trying. cool crab. He's trying to pinch me. Purple one. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. Beautiful. Ah, oh, he's gonna bite me. Come on, bye bye, buddy. Be free. Oh. In, right the, in face. the face. So the water temperature dropped down. You know, the air temperature really hasn't. It's been a very warm, uh, you know, fall and early winter now. I guess it's technically not winter yet, but it feels like winter to us because December we consider winter. But um, the water is 76.8 degrees, so. It has cooled off a few degrees, which will be good for some fish in the back because some of those fish and offshore on the reef too, they're on the reef anyhow. The sails hope it will get going better and uh, all those mackerel in the bay that show up there, that'll be fun too. So we definitely got to do another Spanish mackerel video this year. Frank's getting good at it now. You want a black grouper? Yeah, we're going to catch a big keeper black and then right at sunset, we're going to be rolling out there and we're going to catch a wahoo. There might be six claws right there. We smacking them to death now. No doubt, man. Whoa! Ah! 
Oh! <laughs> he saw me coming. So this one here, you guys can see where it looks a little weak there. So just to be safe, we're going to try to let him drop himself. Well, the theory is, so they have like a growth plate right there. So if you mess up that joint, that claw might never grow back again if you break that joint. So you want to pop it right where it comes off right there and not break the entire like sample of motion. Okay, you <laughs> behave. That's a big crab claw there. Oh, there's still an iguana in there. This could be the best yeah, pull the of the season pull so of far. Yeah, the season, I was just going to say. Two, four. It's December. This is what the traps look like more towards the winter. Nice crabs. You might need a big pot tonight <laughs> to boil these bad boys. First, they're going to go on a boat ride with us while we go fishing, though. <laughs> yeah, I know how that works. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, he's like Frankenstein. Look at his face. Oh, wow. He got chomped he's by a, a shark or something. Yeah. Another crab pinched him. Look, he's got a little nub growing back. There he does. Yeah, he looks a little rough. Look at his claw. I think we should let him go. He needs his claw. I vote Look at that. Also, you're gonna let him go? Yeah, this guy looks a little rough, so we're gonna. He's probably a keeper. He is a keeper. Oh, he's definitely a keeper. Look at how he's like 100 years old. Battle wounds. That means he's probably not gonna live much longer. We're letting him go. Okay, let him go. Stacy, we're letting it go. Stacy, that <laughs> one's for, for you. This is for Stacy. We got lots of claws, so we're doing good. Oh, we need a screw for this one. So this one needs a new uh, screw in the throat, it's you guys. There's only one screw left, so it's loose. So we keep our spare tools in here, in the little Yeti uh, container. So we're going to get a screw out of here. Okay. Oh boy. It's working. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last stone crab trap of the Stanzig Pool in December. Let's see what we got. It looks like it's going to be a humdinger. <laughs> well, it's the last pull of the day for early December. We'll be back out here at least two more times, maybe three. Oh, we got oh there's a monster. jumbo in there. There's a That's monster. That's what I told you, dog. The biggest crab of the season, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Big? Oh, my God. That's the biggest crab. That's a jumbo. Rawr. Look at that one there. That's colossal. Yep. Big that daddy. is a big crab claw there. We got to get a picture of that one. Huge. Look at the size of that thing. Holy moly. Too small. I think he's a keeper, no but way. we'll let him no, go. No, no, we're going to measure him. I don't think it's even close. I'm calling him a keeper. Well, I'm saying it's short. Oh, stop. That's pretty close, though. Yeah, but he's short still. <laughs> I know, but worth measuring. Good thing he didn't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're saving the big one for last. Yeah, we're going to make sure that happens. 11, 7, 3, 0.6. Frank talked me into you guys, and that's a monster claw. We're gonna do a monster discount, 30% off when you guys enter Stone Crab at checkout right now for the next week on StansFishing.com. Get your Christmas presents. It's time to get this big old claw off there. We're gonna put it on the bucket right here and pop it up. He's good to go. Crab in the water, claw on the bucket. We're gonna be eating good tonight, you guys. We'll see you back there, but we're going fishing now for a couple hours. And anyone who guesses how many stone crab claws we caught gets a free t-shirt. The first person to guess the correct amount of crab claws we caught today gets a free t-shirt. It won't be until the next episode though. So comment below, first person who guesses it right. What up, Tan Man? 
Train to Stone Crow Claws for bait. <laughs> Matt can tell Lindsay that he bought them for her. Yeah, here you go, baby. Matt gives us a lot of bait, so we return the favor yeah, for right. fresh Listen. crab claws. Thank you, guys. Oh, oh wow, right. yeah. You gotta cook them still, Matt. You gotta boil them. Yeah, they're raw. All righty. There you go. I'll see you guys later. All right, All right, we got about an hour and a half to fish. Matt just gave us some fresh cigar minnows. We're getting out of here. They're in the well there. We're going grouper trolling, you guys. We didn't even have it out all the way. No, we were dropping it out, just setting the lines out, you guys, and something ate it. No idea what it is. Ooh, it's something. No idea. Hopefully it's not a... You never know. I mean, if it's a mackerel, we could smoke it. It might be a grouper. It wasn't out very far. I'm going to find out, though. <laughs> oh, no, stopping the drag, man. That's a good one. I mean, maybe a grouper, but it wasn't really deep. We're just setting the lines out. I really don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Sarah's going in for the kill. Tan man was happy we gave him some crabbage. That's the best part about fishing like this. You never know what you got on the other end, man. Well, that's why we love the ocean here. Ain't no telling. Any given day, any given second, something could eat it and you don't know what it's going to be. Maybe it'll be a big old grouper. That'd be awesome if it is. This thing's on the surface back there, Franker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he gonna jump? Oh, grouper. The grouper, grouper, dude, it's a yeah, longer grouper. grouper. Slow us down a little bit. Slow yep, down. slow us down, all right. Big grouper, you guys. Jumbo black grouper. We didn't even have this thing out yet. This is the biggest black grouper of the season if we get them. Get ready, Sarah. Over here, nice black grouper. Oh my gosh, longer, Sarah, get us there. Have him, have him right in the head. Just drill him right in the head. Oh! Thank you, Nick. Oh, look at that grouper, you guys. Big black grouper, just put the rod. We weren't even set yet. I was still letting it out and the thing piled on it. You guys, this is what we're eating for dinner there. We have got a bunch of stone crab claws. We just traded Matt some claws for some live bait. And we got something new to put on here too, you guys. Whenever you're using an expensive rod and reel, no matter if you're on a big boat or small boat, you should always put a safety line on it. We got these new ones from Tigris. Hopefully I said that right, Tigris or Tigris. And that here is a quick connection, snaps on both ends. You can use it for trolling rods. You know, if you're running and you're going offshore and you're bouncing around, you want to have it on there, do that too, but super simple and easy. Clip that right to here. And then go to something secure like a cleat or anything else like that or tower, tower leg, you know. And, just in case, because this puppy right here, this rod and reel setup's about $6,000. And these are the Tigris rod holders that we put in too. And the question is, is it a Bonita or a King Mac? You can see the rod too. King Moon, Mac. Moon's coming up out there, guys. These are our medium uh, inshore rods, you guys, our carbon series. Brand new Pen Authority, high speed. Probably the nicest spinning rod I think I've ever used. Um, they are pricey, but you get what you pay for, and they're good quality. We used a couple this summer, got a bunch of dolphin and tuna on them, and now we just got them rigged up for the winter time. I don't know, that might be a king there. Making some good runs. Franker, if it's a king, you want some smoked fish dip? Yes, sir. Franker wants the smoked fish dip, baby. You don't get a Frank the Tank body without eating. That's for sure. Ooh, he's going for a run underneath the boat. Good. <laughs> the king, nice king. Or is it a tuna? King, bonita? King. king. Wahoo! King. It's a wahoo! Yeah. Nah, a little king. I can probably grab by his tail. Yeah, that's a good fight. This is just light tackle, you guys. 20 pound braid on this light spinner rod, so it makes for a good fight. We'll just grab by the tail, dog. Ah! What the heck? Wah, wah, wah. Mm. Or not. <laughs> You're gonna be hungry, Frank. <laughs> I'm shrinking already, man. That's the one right there. We were just taking pictures. That's the big smoker right there. <laughs> you wanna push it? That's the big one. That's a good one. That's the big old king there. The sun's going down. We're getting ready to go home. We said, alrighty, time to wrap it on up. Man, he pulls some string, yeah, dog. Yeah, he he's dumping it. 
what it's about, Franker. You believe in the hereafter? This is what we're here after. Here after. Moon's coming up. Beautiful afternoon. Sarah, are you gonna gaff it? Oh Lord, man. <laughs> lordy lordy. <laughs> He's heavy, man. Nice one, Frank. Good fish. I got you, Frank. How's the finger? Finger's fine, man. Woo! Ooh, big old head shakes. 125 feet of water on the simmer there. Marking some good life. Had a few good bites, we just didn't get them. But, we might get them now, hopefully. Golden hour bite. Oh, it is the golden hour. There he is. Oh, he's a lunker. Big shot. Yeah, man. He's good. Big king. Smoker king. Oh, he's there. there he is. Nice king. I'm going to go around the boat. boat. You ready? Big sir. Oh, my gosh. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Oh, my gosh. 20 pounder. Uh, hang on. One more circle. One more. I'm a girl right there, man. We got a nice one. Woo. Doggy, we got that smoke fish now. Look at that, man, on that little joker right <laughs> that there. That little light rod with that busted up finger missing the fingertip. That's all right. We got him. Oh, yeah. What got a day, one. man. Beautiful. Blessed to live 45, here. 4,500. Yeah, I'm hooked in the gill. I lassoed him, didn't I? play right there. Oh, yeah. Nice one. All right, quick. We can get a couple good pictures. Sarah, it's time to head in. End it on a good note. Yeah. Sun's going down. We'll see you guys back at the dock there. Big king for Frank at the end there. These are the houseboats, you guys. If you ever come down to Bud and Mary's in Alamorada here, there's three houseboats on the outside here, one over here, one more on the back side. So there's five of those. And there's like seven or eight hotel rooms, a couple small houses here. But whether you're a serious fisherman, you know, or not, you can still come here, do a charter trip, or just come down and hang out either way. Um, there's like 50 guides here that can take people fishing offshore and backcountry. That's the fresh grouper, you guys. Caught this yesterday. We didn't have time to cook yesterday, but we boiled up the stone crab claws when we got home last night. So we got a big pile of those. And I know Madam the Tan Man was happy uh, that he got some too. But anyhow, this is just one of the top sections of that grouper, and that was a nice fish. And that's easily gonna feed six people. But I'm in the mood for a little uh, island style, so we're gonna hit it with some olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put some fresh lime on top of it. We're gonna do it on the cedar plank on the Traeger grill there. And uh, Sarah wanted some garlic salt, so we're gonna put the lime on these three here, but we're gonna wait till they're about halfway done. We got the Traeger right at 400 degrees on the cedar plank. And I've actually never cooked grouper this way before, so I'm excited to try something a little bit different. I know it's gonna be really good because everybody loves grouper. We've been getting more into it lately and uh, having fun fishing for them and catching some for dinner. That little light is nice. It is nice. A little light there on the upgrader trigger there you can see a little bit better, so we'll check back on this in probably 
15 minutes or so. The thin piece on the end, that might cook first. That might be the appetizer. It's gonna cook first, it's thinner than the rest, so. Let's let that cook, you guys. We're gonna go eat some stone crab claws and uh, we'll check on this in about 12, 15 minutes. Okay, Dakota's never had stone crab before. So I'm coaching her. You gotta like put your teeth to the cartilage in the middle and then pull it off. Let's see what happens. Like this way or this way? Yeah. Sideways, Side horizontal. Way. There's okay. a little membrane inside, yeah. Here you go, oh, just pull it. it. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Good. Mm. Better than blue crab? I'm gonna yeah. try the other sauce too. What'd you do, the butter or the? I did the butter. So there's butter or there's the mustard mayo sauce, which is popular. With we call this the fat man sauce to Franker the tanker. <laughs> mm. The bounty of the holy trap. Oh, this one's huge. I like that one way better. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I like the mayonnaise mustard too. Nick likes the melted butter and that's more like dipping lobster in butter type. It's good though, but the mayonnaise mustard. Oh my gosh, good. these are so good. Yeah. See, dude, now it's over. Now we got one more mouth trying to eat. Now she stuff. knows. The I know. Sadie, how's our fish tank doing? Not good. It reminds me of the tank in Finding Nemo when the little fish clogged it up to escape. Maybe they're in there. It needs a lot of work. You see anything? No. All right, Sadie, what do you want to eat? Grouper. You want a grouper? What piece do you want? You want that piece right there? All right, so we put some sweet and smoky to rub on one of them that for Sarah one. No, no, that's my bowl. Hey, where's she going with your crab? She's taking her crab and running. All right. You like the stone crab paws? Oh, look how good this looks, Sadie. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you want, right here? Yeah. It's okay. Is it yummy? How good is it? That good? You want to eat more? <laughs> yeah, you do. All right, Sadie approves. Now the rest of us got to try this out. Hey, Cooper. Let's see what she does with it. Claire. Claire? <laughs> Why would you do that on camera? Is grouper your new favorite fish? You like it? Mm. So I like fish. You want that? Mm. Yeah, there you go. Eat a line. This will be funny. <laughs> she did eat a bunch of crab claws, so I'll give her that. Have lime? Yeah, you can have that piece right there. Is it yummy? Doggo. What the do do doggo? Um, Franker, did you give the kids tattoos? No, no. Who Sarah did? did. Look at all those Kaios tattoos. Who yep. did it, Sadie? Franker did it? Franker didn't do it. Who do you? Oh, Sadie got tattoos from Franker. Oh, those Kaios temporary tattoos. Claire, look. Show us your tattoo. Oh, yeah. Dude, See, this looks dipping awesome. Sadie just dipped the, the fish in the butter for the crabs. Good. <laughs> Man, that fish looks awesome. We gotta see how it tastes now. Dakota, have you had black grouper before? I don't know. I think, is there a red grouper? Yeah, but black's a lot better. Yeah, I've had red grouper, okay. but not black. If red grouper is decent, black grouper should be better. I have never cooked it this way on the grill before. Hey. Um, Claire's just going for the limes. <laughs> don't eat them all. The moment of truth. How'd it turn out? It's good. You like it? I like it. Do you need more of it? Heck yeah. Okay, good. Try the garlic one too. I don't know if it's the cedar it plank, but like that is some of the best Traeger fish. You've had? We've I cooked. do like the garlic salt yeah. more. Really? It's really good. Maybe okay, it's the good. cedar plank is like, it makes it moist and that's really yeah, good. Yeah, grouper is really kind of good. fatty like too. Really, so really, really good. It just stays super moist, I think. Yeah. All right, you guys, we got good reviews so far. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. 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 You want some of that one? Oh my okay. gosh, that fish is great. It's really good. Did you try it? Dude, it is great. Here you go, Sadie. Let me get it with a fork. Top three. Top three ever? ever Traeger fish we've cooked. Ooh, I gotta try some of those. The moment of truth. Um, Sadie's dipping hers all in the butter. Salt, pepper, olive oil. A little bit of lime on top for the last five minutes. On the cedar plank. It's really good, you guys. Um, and grouper is pretty fatty, you know, between the flakes of meat. Claire, come here, sweetie. 
Daddy, I'm there. You like it? Do you want to sit up here, sweetie? Daddy, I'm there to eat All right, it. we're getting Claire up here so she stops whining. Daddy, I'm there to eat it. Okay, she wants crab. One more bite there. Super good, though, you guys. And we just want to mix it up doing that cedar plank. Daddy, you know, we've grilled a lot of fish bite. before. She wants a bite. I want a bite. She said, I want a bite. Um, it just it stayed so moist there and super white. And grouper is a delicacy, no doubt about it. Season closes December 30, well, January 1st. So you keep them through December 31st. Mm -hmm. Then it closes for four months, reopens May 1st. So hopefully we'll catch one or two more uh, before season closes. But we're going to go back to eat with our friends and family, you guys. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll see you all next time. So hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you want any clothing, head to the website, stanfishing.com. We're doing our sale. I got one question for you, Captain Nick. What's the question? If I whine and cry like little Claire Bear, can I sit in your lap and you'll feed me some crab claws? No. You're too big. But I, hope, I hope your finger feels better, though. Frank the tank. Say All right. Like. All right, you guys, we're signing off there. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.